Are you ready for summer? I don't know if you guys are ready for summer, but this guy here is definitely ready for summer. I'm ready to share with you 12 amazing summer fragrances that are uplifting, bright, aquatic, minty, refreshing to get me smelling amazing. You guys definitely should check these out. Let's go. Welcome back to another video everyone, Max Forte here. If you love to make a great first impression and smell incredible this summer season, this is the right place to be. Guys, I got 12 great fragrances to share with you today that I'm very proud. These are curated, tried and true fragrances that are absolutely incredible for the summer season. When it comes to summertime, just so you guys know, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time talking about notes and things like that. So most, if not all these fragrances are gonna be aquatic, very bright and citrus is up top with some mint, some lavender, maybe some tinge of spiciness and great wood in the base that are kind of like vetiver kind of woods and maybe dried patchoulis. So great stuff for the hot season that are long lasting, bright, gonna be a, bring a smile to my face, make me smell great and those around me will appreciate the way I smell. So definitely guys consider these for your top picks in the upcoming months. We're gonna start the list here with the 10 spot from Gohalan. You know this fragrance house is great. It's been around for many years. This fragrance here, L'Homme Ideal Sport. The reason why I'm not talking about cool or cologne anymore in the channel is because both these fragrances have been axed. Discontinued, if you guys missed that video, I'm gonna pop it up here so you guys can check out 15 plus designer discontinued fragrances. This one here, still in the game. So it's a great choice if you miss uh, Givenchy, uh, Gentleman Cologne, if you, if you miss Lomi de Al Cologne, it's got that beautiful, refreshing, you know, aquatic, you know, nuance and profile with a beautiful almond, you know, aldehydic kind of a heart. Really good stuff, very refreshing, bright, uplifting. One of those scents that if you're familiar with Chanel Lu Homme Spore or a Versace Pour Homme, it's gonna be in the same vein with that beautiful, aquatic, watery almond. It sounds weird, I know, but believe me, it smells absolutely great. It's awesome in high heat. It's gonna really emanate off your skin and it's gonna give you compliments. This is a compliment monster, love this stuff. It's a great line. The whole Edel line is great, but for the summertime now, this is my go-to because all the other ones, the cool, the cologne have been axed. So great one to consider. By the way, Lome Ideal Sport is something that I mostly wear or consider wearing it for daytime wear, maybe a little dresser with a polo shirt like this, not so much t-shirt, in jeans, but you know, if I'm dressed a little bit more, you know, fine casual, if you will, this is definitely one that I pull off. Now, contrary to that one, if I'm more in a playful mood, maybe t-shirt, you know, hanging out with my friends, grabbing a couple of drinks, really enjoying myself, but I want a more playful and youthful vibe about myself, this is the one I go, you know, with, which is Hawass for him from the house of Rosassi. This particular fragrance, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great alternative to Paco Rabanne Invictus Aqua, which we all know it's been long gone and discontinued sorely missed in the fragrance world. This one here, 95% close to that fragrance and very long lasting and great in performance. It smells amazing, it's that fruity lavender with the gorgeous grapefruit up top, very fruity, very mouth watering juicy, beautiful lavender with a tonka, hint of vanilla in the base, very playful, great for coming. People are gonna love the way, I, people are gonna absolutely love the way you smell. There's no ways about it. If you want something playful, youthful, fruity, juicy, and lots of fun to wear in the summertime, Hoas for him from Rosassi is your pick. At the eighth spot, a newcomer to my fragrance summer rotation. This is a new fragrance from this year. I actually done a full review for you, but not only that, I went through the whole lineup of Aqua de Gios, talking about the original from 96, all the way to this one right here. So check it out, I'm gonna pop it up here. Enjoy that, that particular video. This is going to be the newest Aqua de Gio Eau de Parfum 2022. Love this stuff, you're gonna look at the spell. Holy, holy macro, Max, you wore the whole thing already, almost half? No, I've shared this with people I love, with people that really enjoyed and wanted to wear it before they actually got the bottle. That is why my bottle is so low, but I will tell you right now, be wearing this lots this summertime because what I love about this fragrance is they took Lots of the DNA stuff that you find on the original Aqua de Gio, and they combined with a little hint of the Profumo and added some nuances that are mineral, definitely marine, but definitely more mineral, a little bit metallic from Essenza. So like they combine all of the bass flankers, in my opinion, into one. This is great, it's long lasting. There's also like a minty geranium thing up top, which is very refreshing. Love the stuff. This is one, ladies and gentlemen, you can dress up or dress down but you're gonna smell amazing, whether a t-shirt or a jeans or a full-fledged suit. Great stuff, guys. Consider checking this one out. I think it's definitely one of the best, not the best, but definitely one of the best releases of the year so far. At the seventh spot, this is what I consider the best John Varvedos ever made. I think it's Rodrigo Foley's Rose. Incredible creation. This is going to be JV Artisan Aqua. This particular fragrance, ladies and gentlemen, very powerful for an aquatic, 
aromatic fragrance. This stuff here lasts a long time on my skin. We're talking about 10 plus hours. I love this stuff. I think it has been discontinued, so if you can, Grab it if you have your, your taste similar to mine, if you're gonna like what I described here. What this is, it's mostly a fougere lavender scent. Think, think of Dracar Noir, the original. Think Dracar Noir Aqua, Dracar Noir Sport. That's what I'm getting here. A very, not aged, ladies and gentlemen, because they put, they put some you know modern components and elements and notes in this fragrance, which made it very modern, but it has that traditional classic feel from Dracar Noir with an aquatic tinge. It smells incredible, it's powerful, it's long lasting. And this one here, you can wear day wear or night wear, but I wanna say definitely would you wanna convey a little more mature and serious vibe about yourself. This next one here is actually number eight. I wanna just apologize real quickly. I was thinking I was doing a top 10, which I normally do. But this year, instead of having three videos for summer, you know, uh, designer niche and affordable, I'm doing only two videos, so I'm doing a top 12. So pardon me here, this is actually number eight. At the eighth spot, we have another newcomer to the list, Dior Homme Sport. This is a 2021-2022, the last version of this fragrance, which I have to tell you guys, they did a great job on this fragrance. This is going to be that gingery, musky, pink pepper combination that you get with the original but they added this really nice leathery, almost iris feel that you get in the heart of this fragrance. It's really sophisticated, very sensual kind of for a sports scent. It lasts a long time. It's not gonna be a projection beast, but it's gonna give you a really nice tiage, especially if you spray your clothes like myself. It's gonna last the whole day and make you smell incredible. I'm really um, impressed by this one, you know, the performance, the smell, really liking this one. Very musky and peppery kind of, if you like pepper and musks, you know, white musk, sensual, kind of second skin type scent. This one here will be great. Amazing for dates, if you're going for dates around summertime. Uh, great for day wear, office, perfect for office scents. If you want to smell amazing, convey a very elegant and sophisticated vibe, check this one out, Dior Homme Sport. All right, if you guys know me a little bit, if you follow the channel for quite some time, you know that I always love my vetiver fragrances, so I always try to incorporate a vetiver predominant scent in every one of my lists. This one here is gonna be a perfect vetiver scent for the summertime. In fact, this line here is really cool to have two new fragrances, which I'll pop up here. So if you guys are familiar with this line, you know they're great, they're very, the whole product collection is really good, but Loam gets a lot of talk. You know, there's, there's a few fragrances from the line that gets mentioned, but this line never gets talked, and it's, it's a travesty. This is going to be Prada Infusion Vetiver. It's an absolutely incredible vetiver that's full of neroli, bergamot, bright citrus notes up top. I love this because they capture the essence of the vetiver without being too abrupt or too strong. It's not very powerful, but it's blended to perfection. It's one of those vetivers that are very elegant. It's gonna command attention in a very positive way. If you're familiar with Declaration by Cartier, minus the cumin, there's no BO stuff going on here. It's just pure perfection of a great, bright, and inviting vetiver for the summer, guys. Check this out. This one here I like to wear mostly for dressier occasions during the daytime. Hope you guys are enjoying the picks so far. These are incredible fragrances that I chose to wear this summer for a reason. And you know that you guys can always try fragrances before you buy them. Thousands to choose from, indie designer or niche at perfume.com, guys. You get this beautiful pouch, beautiful sprayer, best quality. And of course, with the summer here, there's always the max packs, which you guys can get the full line, all 10 choices. In this case, it's gonna be 12. You can actually mix and match with the fragrances you wanna try. Since this is a top 12, you can actually choose the actual 10 choices that you wanna try before you buy, guys. Or of course, you don't have to go with my fragrance. You can get, like I said, thousands to choose from. And with perfume.com, always, of course, 100% peace of mind, 100% authenticity, fast shipping, straight to your door, amazing customer service, and incredible selection of fragrances. And speaking of selection of fragrances, great customer service, fast shipping, of course, fragrance by that say, if you're ready to pull the trigger, if you're ready to get your bottle, that is the best discount website, period. Details below, codes, anything I wanna share with you guys that's worth your while in the description to make your lives easier. Enjoy. At the sixth spot, say what you will about this fragrance. It's a synthetic mass, whatever. It smells great, it gets complimented, it gets the job done. It lasts a long time, it's powerful. It's all you need for a great fruity, marine, aquatic summer scent. We're talking Dolce & Gabbana, light blue Owen Tons. This guy's a great staple in my rotation. It smells amazing. One that always gives me positive attention. That minty up top, that fruitiness 
with the grapefruit, the citrus notes, the bergamot, and the mint. It is just so captivating. As soon as you smell this in someone, you're going to be like, wow, you smell good. It's one of those scents. It lasts a long time to dry down. It's going to be that salty, marine, musky kind of a nuance, but it smells good from top to bottom, and it's a compliment monster. Light blue, oh intense, a great summer scent that, like I said, say what you will, it gets the job done. By the way, I do like to wear this more casual shirt, you know, t-shirt and jeans. This is just something that you don't have to think too much. You know, if it's a high heat and a very hot day, something that you know you're gonna spray on and you're gonna smell great the whole day, definitely this one is a great one to consider. As you guys know, on this channel, it's all about sharing with you guys some great alternatives or great options to smelling fantastic without breaking the wallet. So within this list, you have all different price points and all different kinds of fragrances that are going to make you shine this summertime. This is one that, and it's not gonna be more of the same. I'm not gonna give you the Dior Sauvages, the Blue de Chanel's. Nothing wrong with those. They do smell great, but do you wanna smell like everybody else? I don't think so. This one here from the house of Toomey, which is a luggage company, very impressive. All the fragrance releases, this is the one that I gravitate towards the most. Awaken. This is a great scent for everywhere, you know, every day, everywhere, anytime, any occasion, during the summertime, dress up or dress down, this will make you shine. And why, you may ask? Because this particular fragrance has nuances of two juggernaut great scents. YSL's Loam meets YSL's YEDP. Combine those two fragrances, that's what you get here. That beautiful apple, juicy, fruity red apple up top, or green apple, it's a little bit sour, it's sweet, uh, very juicy. And then it has lavender, it has some cypress here, which adds creaminess, sandalwood. It is a great scent. And guess what? For a summer scent, this is long lasting, very powerful. If you spray your clothes, it's going to follow you the whole day. And it's one of those scents that it's gonna give you that edge. People are gonna love the way you smell. They're gonna ask you, what are you wearing? To me, Awaken, I think it's the best one for all occasions, the most versatile from blind. The whole line is versatile, but this one here takes the cake. Next up, I'm gonna give you a fragrance that you can potentially wear for parties during the day if you're somewhere, you know, or like a dinner or a luncheon, but somewhere where you have air conditioning because this can be a little bit cloying. So I would say this is best fitted for evening wear, night wear, or parties, or if you're going out with your friends, with the boys, this is definitely gonna be one of those scents. And I'd say wear this from now all the way until early fall. This stuff here has really good stretch here. Summer starting now, I'd say all the way into early fall, you can rock this and rock it really well. This is the newest from Jean-Paul Gaultier, which I do have a full review talking about. Again, the full line of J JPG, which I love to do for you guys. Check it out, it's gonna pop up here. This is the newest Le Beau de Parfum. What I love about this is that they included with that coconut, they included this gorgeous pineapple up top that will give you a vibe of a pina colada drink, almost boozy. There's a the lavender here, there's some tonka beans for sweetness. There's this coconut here that is just absolutely intrinsic, very like captivating, hypnotizing, gorgeous pineapple with coconut laced with this suntan lotion, this, this, this sunny kind of a vibe that it gives you. When it gets into the heart and goes into the dry, that will give you this vibe of suntan lotion, like a sunny accord, which is very popular these days. I think there's some tuberose in here. It'll give you this really nice, you know, bronze skin kind of a vibe, like it came from the beach. It's really nice, very sensual, very playful, and very inviting. Awesome stuff right here at the fourth spot in the summer rotation of 2022. Check this out. We're down to the top three. I want you to do me a favor right now. Stop the video and comment in this video. Leave me a like, of course, if you appreciate the content. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell to get these videos straight into your feed. But furthermore, in the comments, let me know as I'm gonna share with you my top three favorite go-to scents for the summer of this year. Let me know what your go-to scents for summer this year are. And I also post a lot of stuff on the group, a Facebook group, The Empowerment of Scents, 25 plus thousand members. I wanna invite you guys to join us. If you wanna talk about fragrances 24 seven, share codes for the various websites and everything you need to know about fragrance 24 seven, check it out, link below. Join us at the Emporium of Sense and let's talk fragrances together. All right, at the third spot, earlier in the video, I talked about a great replacement for Paco Rabanne Invictus Aqua, if you missed that fragrance. Here, here's the deal, another discontinued gem that I love and I know a lot of you watching also missed that fragrance, of course, Aqua de Gio Ascenza. So if you do miss that fragrance and you want something that's long lasting, power from a great fragrance brand that delivers for not too much money, guys, I'm gonna invite you guys to check Bentley Silver Lake. This stuff here, 95% close to Aqua de Gio Ascenza. Great stuff, minty up top, beautiful aquatic tinge, a little bit salty, marine, some mineral, mineral, some mineral undertones. 
I absolutely love this. A little bit of a sage in the middle, a little bit of an herbal thing going on here, but very refreshing, very uplifting, and very, very central, guys. You wear this, dress up or dress down. Because the price point is actually very affordable, I can rock this anytime I wanna smell great without thinking too much, or if I have a suit or jacket on, I know this stuff here will not let me down. Silver Lake from Bentley is a great scent, a staple in my rotation. If you haven't tried this, you're missing out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready. The second one here could have easily been my number one. The reason why it's not gonna be number one is because I'm actually not gonna wear this as much as I would like to because number one, it's hard to find, and number two, it has been discontinued. But hang on one second, you guys been saying, hey Max, you're gonna give us a discontinued fragrance? What the hell's wrong with you? No, 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 no. It is hard to find and discontinued from what I hear, but it's still out there and I know where to find it, so I'm gonna link it below to make your life easier. And this is a great scent that I, Recently revisited and I said, man, I'm gonna wear a lot of this fragrance this year. I don't care because it smells just amazing. I am talking about, guys, this is a hidden jam that I'm sharing with you today. This is going to be Bottega Veneta, which the brand in of itself is a great brand that hardly gets talked about because it's hard to find. This is Bottega Veneta Essence Aromatique for him. There is a for her, this is a for him. It's a great green scent, guys. Talking about green notes, coniferous, lavender, but there's a bright, beautiful essence of citruses up top, a melange of citruses combination with an aquatic tinge. But the heart is great. We're talking dry patchouli, cypress note here, which is great. It's green, it's inviting, it's elegant, it's central. This is a masterpiece. I'm telling you right now, if you share a taste similar to mine, if you like, you know, a little bit mature, elegant, classic fragrances, this is going to commend attention and get you smelling amazing this summertime. There's no two ways about it. I love this stuff. Like I said, could have easily been my number one. Bottega Veneta, Essence Aromatique for him. Amazing stuff. All right, guys, number one spot. Let me get a drum roll. The best fragrance for the summer 2022. This is a classic. It's a staple. You guys have heard of this fragrance. Everybody talks about it in the fragrance world because it is just that, an absolutely great summer scent. Chanel Allure Homme Edition Blanche. Why is this great, guys? This is great because it has this amazing beast sprayers. It's actually gonna be my, my scent of the day today, guys. Just beautiful smell. We're talking this gorgeous key lime pie slash lemon meringue pie. Beautiful combination of lemon and lime up top with patchouli, vanilla. There is a little bit of a lavender here. It is long lasting, providing you spray your clothes, guys. This is because it has the tonka here as well. It's gonna be a little bit reminiscent of O Extreme, but it's a lot brighter and it's a lot more charming. I love this stuff, guys. If you love lemon limes, that like I said, vanilla, tonka, combination this is absolutely heavily is the way to work and talk about this fragrance because everybody around you will love the way you smell number one spot chanel allure homme edition blanc guys thanks for hanging out with me these are my top 12 fragrances for summer 2022 designers edition stay tuned for the niche let me know yours in the comment and as always guys choose your fragrances wisely because fragrance is emotion emotion so wear what truly moves you i will see you guys right here very soon mm -hmm.